welcome to Se La Vitero. I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope everything is going phenomenal for you. So uh, let's take a look and see what's going on with you at this time, especially in love. Um, we're going to look deeper and see what your person may be thinking, what they're feeling, or just what's going on in your energy, of course. And of course, check out the description box below if you're interested in a personal reading with me. Okay, so let's get started and see what's going on with you in love. All right, what is the message here for my viewers? Indecisive. Someone here hasn't been making a decision from what I'm seeing here. All right, so unappreciated here. So I feel like for some of you, there there could be a very strong energy of like, I feel like someone here is not really making a decision, right? Someone here is not really... Um, speaking up or coming forward or really wanting to express themselves. I, I get this vision of someone sitting on their couch and constantly looking at their phone or this is someone that, yeah, it's like I sit on my couch or I know my person sitting right next to their phone. So you know that this person typically sits on their couch, falls asleep on their couch, um, looking at their phone. And I feel like this is someone here that's going back and forth, trying to see if they could make a decision here, whether they want to, you know, come forward and express their emotions and tell you exactly what is going on in their life or tell you what's going on within their emotions. Someone here is starting to feel that energy of, wow, like I'm actually leaving my person out in the cold here. I'm not really expressing much to my person. So for some reason, for the past two weeks or week and a half here, I feel like there's been a lot of like, um, um, how can I put it? Like a lot of you have been feeling this person more intensely than normal. It's like, I'm constantly feeling this person in my energy. And I feel like, again, it's coming from a place of this person thinking about you as well. Okay. As we have indecisive here. Okay. And it's like, they're starting to reflect and really starting to understand possibly how they've treated you in the past here. So we have unexpected outcome here. Someone here is saying like, I really didn't expect things to go this way. Um, and I feel like, again, this is coming from a place of this person, not in intentionally wanting to hurt you or treat you this way or become a bit guarded. It's not really something that they wanted to do. I feel like there was a situation where someone here had to make a decision and that's where this, you know, action came in where they possibly became very standoffish to some degree. Okay, so we're definitely moving into this energy where this person feels like this is not how I wanted things to go. I just didn't want things to go like this. Now, I will say for a lot of you, this is someone here that has regrets, all right? There is regret in their energy in terms of the way they treated you, the way that they possibly um, presented themselves on multiple occasions, all right? So I do see a very strong energy of regret, but I feel like someone here isn't sure how to approach. How do I approach this situation with everything that's going on right now in the air, right? The misunderstanding energy, the energy of us not really talking about our emotions. Someone here is trying to figure out how to approach that. And I feel like for some of you that may be watching, um, because you haven't gotten an apology, you're wondering if this person even feels bad or if this person's in a place where they really understand how you feel, and I will say for a lot of you, it's like I could, you know, I could feel the, the collective's energy of, I just want to be understood, right? I just want this person to understand that I have emotions too. And I, and I was in this situation with this person as well. And right now I definitely feel like this person has possibly stepped away to some degree. Okay. Now we have this person also stating there's a number of things that came in the way of us being together. Okay. Um, a lot of you possibly, again, you felt like this person was keeping a lot of secrets and not really expressing themselves to you, but I feel like this person knows that they have a lot to say to you. Now we also have mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. I wish I could, you know, change things. I wish I could come about, you know, come, come forward and possibly express myself and you could understand why, because not only did I sabotage this, I neglected the connection to some degree here. Okay. So let's get some more tarot and let's just see where things are going let's see what's going on tell me how this person is currently feeling about my viewers please how does this person currently feel about my viewers how do you feel about my viewers please thank you wow yep ah. okay 
very 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 interesting energies guys um is this someone here that i feel like is starting to realize their emotions i'm starting to realize how i truly feel about you take it how it resonates for a lot of you here okay we have the judgment energy king of cups and the devil energy but it scares me i do feel like this person is obsessing thinking a lot um even if this doesn't happen on you know, a Monday, right? This is definitely coming through for a lot of you here. This is someone here that is starting to really start to feel and understand their emotions. I feel like for some of you, you pulled back in the last couple of weeks or months. You decided to pull back and you decided to say, you know what? I'm pulling my energy back away from the situation. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll definitely text you. I'll definitely see how you're doing and things of that nature. But I'm going to pull back and I will say for a lot of you here, this is someone here that is starting to realize, notice, understand this beautiful connection that they have for you. And I feel like it's one of those things where I'm waking up out of nowhere thinking about you. You're my first thought in the morning, right? It's like this person's checking their phone, wondering what you're doing, checking your, I don't know what social media you have, checking on that. There's something about your energy that is now putting this person into the space of, I miss you. I miss you. I've been thinking about you. I'm starting to realize that I have deeper emotions than I thought for you. And I feel like this is someone here that is in a space where they're starting to understand their actions. I'm starting to understand possibly how I presented myself in this relationship. So I do feel like as we ask the question, how is this person currently feeling about you? They're feeling love, okay? They're feeling emotions. They're feeling their fears. They're feeling their anxiety. They're starting to understand, wow, like, you know, because of this energy of manipulation in the past or possibly the way I've treated you in the past or how I've possibly presented myself in the past, there is a chance that I may lose you. And I feel like this is scaring somebody here. Someone here is... You know, I definitely don't want to say petrified, but this person's in a space where they are fearing losing you. Why? Their emotions are intense for you. What they feel for you is real. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be shocking. Um, and I feel like there's two people for a lot of you that may be coming towards you, but I feel like they're just coming out of nowhere. They're expressing themselves, right? But here, this is a specific individual that was very indecisive in the past that didn't really understand or appreciate your time, your energy. You know what I mean? So you, and a lot of you understand exactly where I'm coming from here. All right. So let's get some more. Let's get some more information, some more details about this person, about this person's vibe. Anything else? Anything else? And again, this is general, so check out the description box below, okay? Oh, wow. Any more? Thank you. What is that? Thank you. Give me more about this person. Wow. Okay. And one more. Thank you. Oh, two more. I want to know if you moved on. Someone here is wondering if you moved on or if you're going to trust them in the future. I feel like for a lot of you, one of the things that's happening here with this person is this person starting to come to their senses. Now, I feel like for a lot of you, there could have been a discussion or there could be some sort of distance that's happening with you and this person. And I feel like this person is wondering... I feel like this person's wondering if you're actually going to take a chance with them or if you're actually going to trust them again. Some of you possibly have come to this, you know, ener energetic space, I should say, where you possibly don't trust this person again. And I feel like this person may understand that or they, they're starting to feel that where you're possibly confused about them. Now, I will say for some of you, some of you had a conversation with this person and you possibly express to this person the type of partner that you're looking for in the past and I feel like this person felt like they didn't really fit that description and because they didn't fit that description I feel like this person became very insecure to some degree um, and I feel like this person possibly looked at your past or your past person or your lifestyle or your energy and something about you that really brought in that emotional confusion and this person really brought themselves into this overthinking space as if and even if you're not somebody that you know is you know very well off or whatever it may be but i feel like this person's looking at you as someone that's very emotionally stable 
and they're wondering to themselves, is this something that I could really do? Because I feel like for a lot of you, you require the truth and you require honesty from this person. And I feel like this person's understanding that, wow, this person's actually the real deal. This person's not like my ex. This person's not like the people that I used to play around with. This person's actually serious about having discussions about their emotions. And I feel like this person may or may not be ready for this transitional period in their life. They're just not ready for that, right? Um, now, what I will say, this is someone here that's focusing on moving forward with you as as I stated prior, right? Where I want to move forward with you, okay? So someone here is wanting to move forward with you. Now, for a lot of you, I feel like this person's thinking more than doing at this time because of this fearful energy. It's like, I'm not too sure how to present myself. I'm not too sure how to approach you here. Um, what is this person's actions? Any actions, please? Actions from this person? This person is so afraid, Jesus. Christ, huh? So this person is like extremely afraid. I can't pick things up here. This person's extremely afraid here. Like I'm fearful. I'm very fearful. I'm not too sure how to come towards you. I'm not too sure if I'm safe here. I'm not too sure if I could be vulnerable here. This is someone here that's been hurt in the past or burnt in the past. And this is someone here that's very fearful about love. This could be someone that tends to manipulate or tends to try to control at times. But I feel like this is someone here that lives in their mind and they're going back and forth and saying, can I really do this? Can I really love this person without losing control? This may be somebody for a lot of you that may be extremely controlling, right? It's like things are going to go in, on my terms, my time, my, you know, like... When I say things go, that's how things go. And I feel like this is someone that's coming from, vibrating from a place of fear, honestly. But it's like this person here is thinking like, how can I move forward with this person though? Is this going to work? Am I going to get hurt here? Am I going to get hurt? Wow. All right. So let's get some more messages here. All right. We're just doing a check-in, of course, on your person today. What are the vibes here for my, I pretended not to love you, but I still do. And I did, I did. And I still do. I still love you. My fears are so intense that I just don't know how to function via love. I just don't know how to do it, you know? Um, and I feel like this is like literally why this person has been so indecisive, why this person has been manipulative. And I know a lot of you are like, you know, are saying to yourself, well, it's not an excuse. Um, but I feel like this is this is the energy that this person's vibrating on. Fear. I fear that I actually love you. I fear that I actually don't want to lose you. But at the same time, I project that insecurity, right? By blocking, by running, by hanging up, by saying I don't want you, which is false. Because as we see here, this person is stating, I've never met someone like you. I've never connected with someone that cares so much. And it's different to me, right? So this is someone that's just in a different space in their life and they're not sure how to um, move or maneuver in this space, right? And I do see a lot of you being extremely patient with this person, but more so being patient with yourself and just keeping yourself in a place of balance, which is beautiful. You are worthy of so much more than what I could give you. This person could have told you like, you're, you're too good for me. You're way too good for me. I don't know how you're so emotionally expressive. I don't know how you are so vulnerable. There's something about you that is so different, again, as I stated, to this person that they're just asking themselves, can I truly do this? Can I truly move forward? More, please. Anything else? This person could have told you that in the past. Like, maybe we're not meant to be together. I'm sorry. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Some of you, it's it's like this person thinks you're, you know, someone that's a bit more established than them. Wow. I know in my heart that we will be together again. Okay, as we see this very optimistic energy here, this is someone that feels like and for some of you, I will be honest with you, this is, some, this is definitely someone that feels like you're, you're going to either just wait for them or you'll be standing there waiting for them, which is wrong because a lot of you are not doing that. You're really focusing on yourself. 
And I feel like this person decided to possibly venture in different areas and focus on other people, other things, push you away. And now they're noticing that the grass is definitely not greener on the other side, right? So for a lot of you, I will be very clear with what I'm saying here in this energy currently, as we're looking at your person's current energy, how can I move on with C'est la vie's subscribers how, or viewers, whoever, how can I move forward with this person? But I still need to get over this energy of fear, control. Someone here is extremely controlling. And it's like they don't want to fail. But they don't understand they're already failing in this mentality. Right? So, again, I feel like a lot of you are giving this person time and space here. I feel like this person is constantly thinking about you. Um, I feel like this is someone here that never thought that they would meet someone like you that's so loving and empathic and, some, you know, just full of love honestly here so a lot of you will and i feel like this is not this may or may not happen this week i don't feel like this week i'm not getting this week's vibe here but i'm getting in the month of june moving into july a lot of you are going to get some sort of communication right someone's coming in here wanting to reach out to you okay i'll talk to you soon have a beautiful one i love you of course and be sure to stay positive and in a beautiful place have a good one